Hi, and welcome to a, another episode of Intimate Joe is my student today. She has neglected to attend class for the entire semester. Whatever. She still wants to take the final. Um, we're going to see if she can pass my music appreciation class and maybe my mixed chorus class as well, even though she didn't attend the concert. I was sick. So we're going to see if I, Josephine Dats, am able to pass my husband, who is a music teacher's music class. That's exactly what I just said. Yeah, but you didn't say it like that. I said it more interestingly. You said it's more interesting. Unit one, you don't have to write that. Will you draw for me half note? Yes. Is that it? And it's corresponding rest. Okay, so a half note and a half rest? Yes. Okay. Wait, I gotta make the staff. Okay, this please show the answer. camera. I feel like this is a magic trick. And do you have the seven of clubs? Uh, Incorrect. A half note with its corresponding rest. Uh, the rest needs to be filled in, actually. Are you serious? It just matters what direction it's in. No. Nope. Well, that's a fifty percent so far, so you're failing right now. I thought right half now. looked like a hat. That's what I learned. It does look like a hat. You got that part right. You just didn't fill it in. Next. Next. So far, I'm doing great. You're doing great. Will you please tell me, from bottom to top, the lines of the bass clef staff? Oh. Uh, Boys deserve fudge always. Good boys deserve fudge always. G V D F A. All always, all boys, all fudge, <laughs> all. All, 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 all. <laughs> So what's your final answer? G V D F A. Yes, G -V -D -F -A. very good. G V D F A. Next question. Please tell me what a chordophone is. <laughs> Can you spell that for me? C H O R D. Oh, you already lost me. C chord. If phone, like a saxophone, is a phone that is saxy. A chordophone is a phone that is chordy. Wrong. Was that in your class? Yeah. In unit one? Yeah. Does it have to do with notation? No. Oh. Well, I've been doing music like my whole life and I've never heard of that. Okay, well. Brief, brief, like two cents, exclamation, exclamation. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> the old way of organizing instruments was the Western European classical model where you have your winds and your percussion wake up. <laughs> but that's uh, not the best way to do it anymore. The best way to do it now, if you want to be globally aware and sensitive, is to organize instruments into phones. So you've got your aerophones, your chordophones, your electrophones, your membranophones, and your idiophones. Those are the basic ones. I think you're an idiophone. Get out. <laughs> Unit two. Yay. Folk music. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> this is not the kind of folk music you're oh, used to. Folk yeah, dude. <laughs> okay. Tell me. Yes. Two instruments you might find in Mexican mariachi music. A guitar and a bass guitar. And what are those called? Guitare e bass guitare. <laughs> <laughs> e trompete. Mm -hmm. e, Trumpet's one. Yeah. E voice. Yeah, so you could say guitar and trumpet and you would be pretty close. Guitaron is the enlarged guitar. It's very big. That's like the big, right? Isn't that just the bass guitar? No. Tell me um, in what region, and you can be specific or general, you might find a gamelan orchestra. Camelot. <laughs> Camelot? Is that what you said? <laughs> Camelot. Oh my God. Camelot has Camelot and everybody knows it. The correct answer was Bali or... You didn't in even give me a chance. Indonesia. I don't think you were going to I was going to say Indonesia or Bali. Okay. You caught me up. I got it right. All right. Here's an interesting question. What is similar between Japanese folk singing and yeah. Appalachian folk singing? Appalachian as in where we're from. Um, it's Appalachian as in the Swiss Alps. 
That's alpha-ish then. <laughs> so, can you ask me the question again? What is similar, what is similar? between Japanese folk music singing. and Appalachian Japanese just, folk just singing? Just yeah. singing? Yodeling. Uh, wait, nope. wait, wait, wait. Okay, well, let me think this time. Think. What is similar between Japanese folk singing, specifically folk singing? <laughs> Say folk. Folk. And Appalachian singing. Let's see. Appalachians, it's not yodel? Mm, is it the use of a twang? Yeah. For real? It's like, yeah, nasal twang. Heck yeah, singing. dude. Yeah, good. Folk, yeah. Unit three is country music. Oh. Who developed the technique on guitar where <laughs> you can play a bass line, the melody, and chords all at, all at once? Who developed that? Who yep. knows that? I'll give you a hint. It's called the Carter Scratch. Jimmy Carter. No! <laughs> what? Mm, M feels right. M feels right. M Molly. Magdalene. Mm, Merle. Mm, Merle. Tiger. <laughs> That's a country person. I don't know if you're gonna get it. I'm sorry. Bristol. Yes. Bristol. 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 Murfreesboro. <laughs> uh, the answer Carter. is Maybelle Carter of the Carter family. Of course. Uh huh. And her son-in-law, Johnny Cash. She taught him everything she knew. Sure. Let's move on. Name for me. Two two Motown songs. Name I'm gonna for make me. it. I'm gonna make it easy on you. Name two Motown songs. Um, lean on me. Can I just see above Jennifer Lopez Motown tribute? Was Jackson Five considered Motown? Why am I having a hard time? Would it help if I said an artist? Yeah. Marvin Gaye. <gasps> get it on. <laughs> Let's, Let's get, get it on. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one. <sighs> Name another artist. What's like that famous song that gets everyone on the dance floor during a wedding reception? It's a duet between Marvin Gaye and someone else. Ain't no mountain there you go. high Yeah, or you could have said, my girl, my girl, See? or heard it through the grapevine. There's so many out there. Yeah. Yeah. It's just hard to it think It is on. hard to think on your spot. You're fine. On my spot. Okay, it's let's... It's hard to think on my spot. Mm-hmm. Tell me. Please tell me for me. Please, Please for, for me, me. Tell, tell me, me for me. Why, for me, <laughs> why did rock and roll record sales explode in the 50s? Elvis. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me more? Why girls got money. It became affordable. Uh-huh, yeah, that's one reason. What are the others? <laughs> there's, there's lots of reasons. What was invented that helped? The gramophone. <laughs> the gramophone in the 50s? <laughs> yeah. Come on! TVs! Um, yeah, so radio. people would see like American bandstands. Newspapers! Posted by. He did New Year's Eve. Uh, Dick Van Clark. Dick, <laughs> Dick Van Clark. And his friend, Dick Dyke. <laughs> Dick Van Clark. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dick Clark, yes. Can you tell we both worked like a long day today? Holy mm -hmm. moly. Unit five is musical theater. Yeah! Can you tell me, because it took a long time for musicals to evolve into what we know now as yes. Broadway musicals. Steamboat. Tell me um, Steamboat. one of the first iterations of musicals Steamboat. that were popular. Um, Steamboat. And what defined this Steamboat. kind of show? Steamboat was that the plot was told through music no was that, that is absolutely correct because it would have been story 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 music over here that has nothing to do with the story 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 music over here that has nothing to do with the story another short story a dance number that has nothing to do with any of this and then steamboat whatever showboat showboat we got there showboat showboat this first iteration of it or one of the first was like popular in the 20s yeah showboat I'm getting there. It did not feature any sort of plot. That's what I'm saying. Or theme. No, there was like no story to it. Like it was Zip a Zip Follies. Variety show. So what would you call that? A folly. So so the V. Vaudeville. Yes. Please for me. Name 
one of the purposes of the Thenardiers. Purposes? Of the Thenardiers? Yes. And Les Mis? Yes. The purposes? Yes. Why are they in the show? To make fun of it. Fun of what? The revolution. <laughs> yeah, they make fun of the students. They're just showing that like life goes on and bad things happen to good people and good things can happen to bad people. Mm. Okay. Unit six, hip hop. Oh. Oh shoot. <laughs> yeah. Tell me the difference between conscious hip hop and gangsta rap. I've never heard. And gangsta rap. I've never heard of conscious hip hop. Well, what do you imagine the difference would be? Conscious hip, conscious, conscious hip hop. That's really hard to say. Mm -hmm. Conscious, conscious. <laughs> Gangster rap is like diss tracks and angry, and conscious hip hop is when you're like rapping about your life, but not necessarily angry. Yeah, that's close. Hey, that's close. Yeah. Unit seven and eight, medieval to the early romantic period. Have you ever heard of the term polyphony? No! But you have, right? Polyphony? Yeah. P-O-L-I-P-H-O-N-Y? Uh-huh. Um, Take that, a stab at it. That means there's multiple phonies. Mm-hmm. So just like chordophone, phone is... <laughs> oh, yeah. Pho oh. Phone is sort of the word for sound, so poly... Multiple sounds. Yes. So what kind of music might that be? Harmony. Mm -hmm. Polyphony is sort of everyone has their own melody. They're all kind of going, woo, like that. Monophony. One uh, unified sound. Yes, good. So that would be like Gregorian chants. This is completely beside the point, but Carter, after school one day, was like, Joe, I figured out I can do a perfect Russell Crowe and Les Miserables impression. Okay, go. If you fall like Lucifer fell, you fall in flame. So, <laughs> so, where were we? Name one. Baroque composer. Baroque is Bach. Yeah. Name a classical composer. Mozart. Good. And name one romantic composer. Vivaldi. I mean, not Vivaldi, I mean Debussy. Yeah. Yeah! Debussy. Debussy. Gary Debussy. Yay! <laughs> With his friend Dick Dyke. <laughs> Dick Van Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Did I pass your class? Just barely. <laughs> So what do you think? Was it harder than you expected? Yes, because you're asking specific questions that I don't know the answer to. This was your idea! <laughs> do you want to do the outro? We'll see you next time on Nickelodeon. Nope. We'll see you next time on the Disney Channel. We'll see you next oh. time on HBO Game of Chordophones. We'll see you next time on This Is Us. We'll see you next time on it. Hey, what's up? <laughs> then the other part of the final would be please rap for me. Ready to go. I was sitting here filming a video with Carter Dax and his wife Jojo. Yo. Our cat Tarzan is sitting over there, just sitting over there with his little gray hair. Yeah. He's making a mess and destroying our dishes. Hopes and dreams to fill all your wishes yeah. and take it from me. The white girl in town that you can do anything if you just look around. Get out of the room because you just ace this exam. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Come back!